Igor Dos Santos versus Roberto Freitas here. Roberto Freitas in white, Igor in blue. Hey there. This is for Shifts the down. lightweight division. The, the scoreboard is locked down, so they're resetting. We got the lasso and the pan grip by Rodrigo Freitas. Referee fixing the position there. And we should save the they, scoreboards. Yeah. Igor dos Santos from Novo Union. Clube Feijão, Clube Feijão de Jiu Jitsu. One of the most best camps out. And people, people don't know this, but I think one of the best grapplers in the history of the sport came out of like some of the Feijão Feijão students. is a very nice He's guy. A, a very nice guy and an outstanding coach. If you don't know who he is, you don't know who a good coach is in jiu-jitsu. No, that guy's really a very good coach. Very polite. Yeah. A lot of good guys came out of that, that camp, for sure. Nice wow. pass by Igor. Wow. Beautiful. It's connect, connecting already for and the possibility tight, of the back. Tight now. on the back. Seat belt is on. Good hooking. Beautiful. Pulling the back of the collar, which puts Rodrigo in a very bad situation. Which is still defending really well. He's pushing very the hips good away. Defense. I it's agree. all about the hip. See, move the hips out. Very well defended. Oh. Very, very, very well defended by Rodrigo, which is a little bit of energy recovery. there, Absolutely. which can make a big difference on the whole. But thing. this puts Igor at three advantages ahead of Rodrigo Freitas. And, but again, we go back to that dynamic. Can Rodrigo sweep? And it doesn't, you know, who cares about the advantage at this point? So, yeah, Igor, whoever sweeps last. And I'm a strong believer, and I'm sure you're going to agree with me here, Brawley, that offense is the best defense. Yes. Igor should not be too defensive here because Rodrigo will pull something off. I no, he definitely, if he gets to do the defense, he's going to get down. The thing is, it's just so early in the fight. He doesn't want to pull the trigger yet, but at some point, Igor's going to have to. If it stays like this, right? Yeah, it's going to all come down to how many penalties each one has, you know, because now they can play on the back and forth like, you know, the previous fight. You know, like you try to, whoever sweeps first, Correct. holds, contrary to sweep for the next one. Because the advantage on this category is not, is not the, the differential. It's whoever sweeps last. So good attack here by the by Rodrigo. Tapping the omoplata sweep. He's gonna make it. No. There's an advantage though, which is that great. is an advantage. Look, he can do it again. That could be a way of catch back the two equalizer. And just over seven minutes left in this match. Rodrigo Freitas with the lasso there. Igor very patient, very solid on top. Rodrigo here tries to kind of slow down the pace a little bit, you know. Igor take advantage to get his breath back. Because what's happening here is that, like, Rodrigo, what would Rodrigo do? Like, do I sweep him now, or do I feel that I can sweep him live for yes. less? See, it's a gamble, though. That's why the stakes get higher and higher the closer you get to the end of the match. So that's going to come down to the punishment. How many penalties we have? Because do I have to sweep now or not? If there's no penalties, I'm cool. But if there's penalties, I will have to start acting now. Correct.
Igor very patient on top. Yeah, I don't know. Like I almost, I almost, um, I almost feel that he's almost too patient. You know, I can't get that patient. Yeah, Igor just on top there, chilling. I think Rodrigo feels very confident he can sweep at the end because you don't see him in a hurry at all. No, and I think yeah. that's what it's going to come down to. Like, both these guys are going to wait for, like, last two minutes to start Unless switching gears. You know, so yeah, he's but, moving well there. You know, I think they're moving around enough, you know, to, not to, to be penalized. Around, yeah. yeah. So he's going to probably leave for the last. So going, he's tangling underneath there with the possibility of a leg lock to go to the 50-50 possibility there. Igor hold the foot well there. Look, good position here for Rodrigo. Is he gonna come up? No, get an advantage. He's trying to bait for the advantage, right? Yeah, if I yeah. if I were Igor at some point, I would be a little less a little more aggressive, perhaps, and not give Freitas the, 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 the ability to, to switch gears, the opportunity to switch gears, and just got to keep him on the defensive the whole time. An adult male black belt rooster semifinal representing Qatar BJJ, Odney Barbosa Jr. Igor up by two advantages there. Rodrigo with Weber the negative. We got just over four minutes left here. And I think we were right, Braulio. I think this is gonna it's gonna get really Really heat it any second now towards the end of the match. Igor, really good balance. Yeah, I think Rodrigo is trying to, he felt that he can sweep at any time now. That's what I can notice about that. So Igor needs to be careful. Now, two points to Rodrigo, you know. Let's see what's happening now. What's Igor going to do about get this back? Is he going to wait until the last minute? Is he going to try to see if he can sweep him now? Going to keep the close guard, put him check. Michael Musumichi. Michael Musumichi. Please, ring coordinator number one at the bullpen. That's it. Rodrigo with the advantage now. And Igor is so calm. I almost wonder if, like, that's... Well, maybe he's not so calm anymore. <laughs> he's getting aggressive. Hey, he's like, I, think, I, I think that was part of his plan. He stangled that on the I think that's it was part position. of Rodrigo's plan. Very good position for, for Igor. That's pretty much a good position for Sweep. Here Steve we go. Fijon. He's bringing it back. And Igor, yep. Can he get that? those points? He needs to finish that. Rodrigo with the balance. Yeah, Igor absolutely needs to finish that sweep if he wants, if he wants to win this fight. Rodrigo is defending well. If, if he breaks through, they're going to stand him back up. He got the advantage. Not enough, though. If they stand him back up now, this would be really bad for Igor. It will Igor be bad for Igor, yeah. Because if Rodrigo pulls, then it, yes, it's very it likely could it could be That'll over. That would be uh, the differential. So, bro, if you were Igor, what would you do? If I'm Igor, man, I need to prove. It's a difficult one. I it all depends how he felt, how Rodrigo felt on the fight, right? Because yeah. it could be, I need to pull first. Yeah. Or take advantage to try to go for the double leg. My, my advice it was, yeah, pull first. And then you got two, just over two minutes there. To do really no, no, do I would shoot to the double and make Rodrigo defend the double and then pull guard. Because if he pulls guard, it will be two points. And if he doesn't, I'll end up on where I want to be. Yes. I will shoot straight away to the double right now. Double, boom. Yeah. Rodrigo either defend. Yeah, Rodrigo got a high posture. He doesn't bend his knees there. 
which means that you can get underneath those yeah, arms. Like a 100%. quick low double would do the job. Because either if he's pro or pull guard, that yeah. was the thing that he could have done. Yeah, that's the, wor that's the worst case scenario that's for Eagle very right there. Look, yeah. Now he's going to get a sweat. Lucas Tobias. Yeah. Lucas Tobias from Grace Unless Ibaja. he's that good of a pass, and he just wasn't showing us, he just wasn't aggressive okay. enough before. But the, the current score would warrant Igor getting a lot more aggressive than he was for the first yeah. half of the match. What what uh, Igor was trying to do was trying to take the, the Ashima, right, to take the possibility of the sweep. But the thing is, if he works, good. But if he does, he yeah, it's top, too much of a trouble. gamble. I would have pulled. Yeah, or double. Or double, yeah. Because you know? once you double, the guy accept the double or sprawl. If and he sprawls, sprawl, you could... Man, that was like my favorite strategy of all time. Yeah, like always like the laziest <laughs> double in the world. They can always pull off of it. Exactly. It worked many times. Now, you know, Rodriguez on his game. And yeah, he scores check, another two. This, and it changed completely and, the and, mindset and, of the game. Okay, so what does Rodrigo do? He's up by four, but he knows that there's little time left. If he gives Igor a chance to find his guard, Igor may turn it around. Exactly. So his best defense right now is doing exactly what he's doing. Attacking. Getting aggressive, yes. He got more confident. He said, listen, I can be... I, you know, I'm not, if I made a mistake, it's not going to be a problem. I'm four ahead. You know, now here we go. It changed completely the whole scenario and dynamic of the fight. Just two points late lead caused and gave Rodrigo confidence enough to open up the game. And this is, that's why he's there. If it was 2-0, this would never happen. Yes. That's how the mindset comes down. Yeah, but you know game. what? Like, I think Igor's is a little too patient in the beginning there. He, I think he was, like, too confident that he wasn't going to get swept. And I think that once Rodrigo swept him, it threw him off his strategy, his game plan yeah. completely, and then it just derailed from there. The mind game came. He already, yeah. like, he's not even defending the back. Yeah, he's just, you know. Yeah, he's, It'd be too yeah, he's not even defending. Yeah. 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 yeah, you can see he's just very disappointed with himself. But very good performing. Rodrigo's, like, a super tough competitor. I've been watching him for a long time. Get anyone a hard time, man. Like, just top, top-level competitor. Looks like he is moving into the semifinals now of the lightweight division. Yeah, it's, it's a very bad position. He's a top. Yeah, with 10 seconds left. Yeah, I think it was Igor just mentally, you know, disappointed with his mistake. It was a sweep. That sweep right there changed the, the whole Because up to then, it, it looked know. to me that Igor was in control. Yeah, and then after uh, Rodrigo got two extra points, even if he gets swept, he'll still win the fight. Before, wouldn't because he was the down in advantages. Yep. So he changed completely the dynamic, the confidence that the fear of making mistakes is zero. Because if worse comes to worse, he's just going to give two points away. So that's why I felt like Rodrigo was open up. Great match by Rodrigo. Rodrigo Freitas, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Rodrigo Freitas. 